We're here at Pelahatchee Shore Park on the Ross Barnett Reservoir in Brandon, Mississippi today. And we've got our friend Ray Novak back with us. Ray, good to see you again. Glad to be here, George, Tommy. I appreciate you guys having me out here to play with a few toys. Speaking of toys, what did you bring? Uh, several things. Uh, the main thing to focus on is going to be the, the new AH705 antenna tuner uh, that goes with the 705. We're going to show two different antenna styles. One is the long wire antenna and our buddy at Radio Waves has created a nice kit to go along with that. And then the other one is a, is a coax fed antenna system. We're going to be featuring that uh, Buddy Poles uh, Buddy Stick Pro that you really oh, liked the oh last yeah, time. Oh yeah, we saw that before. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice antenna. So outside in a park, unfortunately, it's not a state park, so we can't do a POTA activation. But we should get on the air, and hopefully, you guys will work a couple of stations. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Any good day point. we get on the air is a good day. Yes, sir. So George and Tommy, I brought four different antennas with us in a little kit that I just showed you. Now, with the backpack, a lot of stuff crammed in there. Some of that looks familiar. Very. Got my trusty little MFJ antenna analyzer, screwdriver, CW key, a micro USB charging cable. I swear, I love the little Begali Traveler. A Radio Waves RW705. This is actually two wire antennas. One that will cover 160 through 6 and then the other one will cover 40 through 6. There's hardware in there to suspend the antenna with. We have one part of the magnetic loop, the tuning unit for the AL705 loop. We have the control cable and coax for the AH705. The large loop coax for the AL705, the feed line to the AL705, the Begali foot to angle the head of the radio with, a couple of lithium iron phosphate batteries, and a piece that's gotten a lot of people's attention the AH705. The AH705, I've got the adapter on it. That is for an antenna like the RW705. BNC connector on the end here. The control cable goes here. If you have external 13.8 volt DC on this end, these are plugs that it takes a little bit of an effort to seat them in there to help with moisture resistant, rain resistant. If you've got it set up like this, you've got a mounting adapter. So if you had a pole to mount this on, like a fiberglass pole, you can do rope or Velcro loop through here and you can see how it's angled to strap it to a pole. Along on the bottom here, and hopefully my thumbnail, oh uh, yeah, I didn't rip one. Two AA batteries, and the door has got a rubber gasket. Any idea of life expectancy on the batteries? N nothing that I've seen measured yet, and one of the things with it is the relays that are internal are latching relays, so you only need the power to power up the microprocessor, to retrieve the memory if there's a memory pre-stored for the specific frequency, and uh, to energize it for the tune function. Once, once that occurs, the tuner powers off. All right, guys, we were talking earlier about the Buddy, Buddy Stick Pro. This is the antenna that we seem to really like for soda operation and the antenna shootout. Uh, nothing has changed, this is still a prototype. Chris is going to do some refinements to the elevated radial to make it easier for deployment. But the real cool thing is with the AH705, it can quickly tune it in. You can get it close and then it will do the fine tuning for you for this antenna. It'll be what we call an unbalanced antenna system using a 50 ohm coax 
uh, fed system is pull the kit out. This will be uh, the carrying pouch that will be available for it. This is one antenna, the counterpoise kit for both antennas, your hanging system for the antenna, and then this is the antenna kit if you want to go all the way up to 160. The design of the antenna is based on the exact specifications for the bands for the AH705. So for this antenna kit, you've got your spade that would connect here. And then your counterpoise. And you'll see with the counterpoise kit, it starts out as three wires. Then you come to a length, then two wires, and then finally your last wire for 40 meters. We've got the antenna strung up. It's not your optimized situation, but it never really is when you're doing a soda or a poda activation. So one of the things that we'll do is we'll come to the menu, to the set, function, tuner, make sure that it's identified to the AH705, push to talk start on, we can even check here to clear any of the memories or store any of the memories. Then what we do is we pick a frequency that we want to do. Come on over, George. I cannot see if not, I not, not the push here. So what we need to do now is go to function, number two, and we see duplex tuner and then maximum transmit. Oh, wow. So the audio came up tremendously. You remember Gordon West tells you on any of the antennas, tune the antenna till you get maximum noise. The nice thing about the AH705 is with it being part of the antenna system like what we have here, it becomes a pre-selector. As we just saw, the receiver goes through the tuner. So everybody making comments about selectivity of a receiver, that's not only the antenna tuner, it's part of the receiver. It's part of the receiver as well. Go ahead and do your test to see what the, the SWR looks like on it. Well, you know how to do that, right? Uh, I put it on my AM. Actually, what we'll do is I'll turn the volume back down a little bit here. We will go menu, SWR. We have the step set at 10. So we'll sweep. Go ahead and hit the push to talk, George. Hold it or? Go ahead and just kerchunk it. And that's what your SWR looks like. Well, that's, uh, that's very good. Keep on going across. Keep, keep keying it each, each time it steps. Go ahead and let it off. So you can see the blue dots down there. There's five bars. We can change the bars to like 11. And what you do, so it keeps your SWR. Now, to let you see if it's really tuning or not, we'll come here to go menu, set, function, tuner, PTT stop, we'll put it to off. So, We'll come here, we'll go to 40 meters. Look at that SWR. Look, looks high, doesn't it? It looks a little high, yeah. So what we do is we go function, two, Now we come here and we test it again. So it's tuned 
down on, here. On the frequency we started at. Yep. All right, George, I can't work them, but you go ahead and give them a shot. Okay. Whiskey 5, Juliet Delta, X-ray. Whiskey 5, Juliet Delta, X-ray, 5, 7, Kilo, 2, 9, 0, 8. Okay, you're 5, 9, thanks. QSL to 5, 9, thanks for hunting, QRZ. 10 watts, yeah. South Carolina. The antenna works, the tuner works. I'm almost as tall as the antenna. <laughs> Yeah, come on, let's take a look at, I mean, you, you take a look at the setup that we have. I mean, these are roughly six feet each. So yeah. with, with the cables that come with it, it, it does make it a little bit tight. But there again, we're, we're looking at only 10 watts with it and w maximum power out with the antenna tuner. So there again, this is the long wire. This is the 40 through six meter wire. The other one, which is 30 meters, so 30 meters of wire for 160 meters. Okay, what we're going to demonstrate here is a second configuration with the AH705, and that is with a 50 ohm antenna. Uh, the AH705 is on the ground, feeding into coax to Buddy Pole's Buddy Stick Pro. We've got an elevated radio going off to the right, and George, we really don't have a whole lot of people around us. Okay. You know, I'm going to come down here lower in the band. I don't hear anybody. Let's go ahead and tune it up. Okay. Function 2, hold down on tuner. There we go. And it tuned it. That was quick. Let's see if we got anybody calling CQ. Charlie, Tommy, why don't you come in here and give him a call? We we talked to this guy using the dipole configuration. QRZ from Kilo Four Delta Quebec Papa Park in the air. November five Zulu November Oscar. All right, let me get this November five. He's been calling November five station November five. November five Zulu November Oscar. Your patience here, 5-7 Sierra Charlie, 5-7 Sierra Charlie. Uh, QSL, 5-9 Mike Sierra. All right, thank you for Mississippi tonight, and thanks for stopping by Park Kilo 2908. There you go. So 5-9 with the vertical. Whiskey Foxtrot 9 Uniform. Kilo Charlie 3. 